what is up trainers ashen field here today we're gonna feature a team that is featured by poke sports now again i don't know if it's a team created by him or it's a featured team but i'm gonna check it later and i'm gonna put it in the credits below so this team is composed of special attackers <clears throat> mostly and of course monkey dory monkey dory is one of the new legendary mons introduced in the till mask dlc it's the one of the loyal tree which if you know the story isn't exactly what it looks like well anyway uh we have here the chiyu and fluttermane combo an old regulation c-ish b-ish combo with chiyu donning the choice scarf with heat wave over overheat dark pulse terra blast water Flutter main with choice specs, Terra Fairy, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Dazzling Gleam, and Power Gem. Then we have Ndidi. Ndidi with Dazzling Gleam, Follow Me, Trick Room, Helping Hand. And Rela Boom with Grassy Surge, Assault Vest with Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, High Horse Power, and Fake. For another speed control support, we have Roaring Moon with Booster Energy, Terra Flying. For Stub Acrobatics, Knock Off, Tailwind, and Protect. Then also we have Monkidori with its signature ability, Toxic Chain. Uh, that increases the chance of, consec of landing a poison to the opponent with each consecutive hits. It has Focus Sash, Terra Ground, Psychic, Nasty Plot, Terra Blast, Ground, and Sludge Bomb. Uh, the Terra is mainly a defensive one. It's a very frail team, to be honest. But I'm excited and excited to play this team because I haven't seen much of the Royal Tree and it's exciting to see new mons in play now that Regulation E is coming up in October. So yeah, let's go and check this out. Okay. Fluttermane, Thunderous, uh, Tornadoes, Urshifu, Hitra, Terra Fire, Ogrepon, and Tenglu. Yeah, off the bat, we're kind of in a pinch. The last mall that I would love to face is actually this Tenglu. Because we have at least four special attackers. So that's kind of bad. I do want. Rillaboom has high horse power, so Heatran could take it if necessary. I want to lead like Rillaboom Roaring Moon here. They're definitely gonna bring Tinglu. There's nothing I can do about it. Uh, Chiyu is a definite must-have here, and maybe Monkey. Honestly, uh, this team doesn't ha doesn't really have much uh, counter to the team that we're gonna bat, but that we're gonna battle. So it's kind of. Hey. How can I put this? We're at a disadvantage. Okay, so they lead with... I mean... Horn is definitely going... Thorn is definitely going Tailwind I'm gonna, I'm gonna still try yeah. I'm gonna just try and go Tailwind I mean Rillaboom is faster And 
I know a grassy glide Rillaboom Hello, uh, Woodhammer Rillaboom could KO a flutter Why though? I didn't know why they taunted there. So Rainbow hits. And Flutter actually survives. And it's Sash, okay. I don't know why they taunted there. Nope. Really get it, but. Whatever it is, I'm fine. Acrobatics. I'm fine just using Grassy Glide. And dishing out chip damage on the board. That's not chip damage at all. <laughs> that's that's way too much damage. Okay, so they bought the heat rent. Now actually I don't know. Who's faster? Uh it's kinda high school. I wanted to high horsepower this shit. You know what I mean? But I guess going for going for Grassy Glide Torn. And go for Grassy Glide Torn and knock off the heat trap. So that we can take a little bit off. And it's there a grass. So we can sludge bomb it after Torn dies. gonna heat wave and yeah, I should have acrobatics there Ooh. and assault this is knocked off Ooh. I actually survived that which is good because now we still have the ability to set up room But it's Shifu. It's Shifu, man. We just go glide here and acrobatics onto the Heatran. Dude, nearly dies. And we KO now the Heatran. We got. Uh, what the heck? We KO the Heatran now with acrobatics. If that's like the old Grassy Glide with 70 base power, we might have KO'd the Hershey for there. But it is what it is. I, I mean... Uh, it's nerf in the best possible way. That's what it is. Is that one good early? There's something really he can do here. I think. I just go Psychic and Acrobatics again. Still faster, even if the tailwind is weaker. First win of the day! And Monkey Dory. Really just revealed itself on the field and <laughs> nothing else. Kudos to Rain Boom and Oaring Moon. Okay, it's Tyranitar Among Us. Okay. Ooh, it's an it's an a cornerstone ogre pawn rock team. Okay. I do want to lead Roaring Moon just to set up Tailwind. But I know it's gonna die. To rock slide if it hits. And I kinda don't want that because there's a mongos. Just go Rillaboom fake out whatever. 
and Roaring Moon. Then, uh... I don't really like Monkey Dory in this game. I guess I go Chiyu. I go Chiyu then. Or Indeed, for that matter. Yeah, we can go like NDD. Yeah, I think it's fine. But the thing here is that if they bought Hitran, we immediately lose because we don't have. But the goal here is we don't have any thing that will hit it. Well, except Terra Water G. So it's Houndstone and Tyranitar immediately. Now the need to eliminate the The need to eliminate the Houndstone is higher than the need to eliminate the Tyranitar. It's gonna Terra Flying anyway. So I'm thinking of... Oh, what, what am I? We're shitting. I'm thinking of... Using, like... You know, I know I'm still faster than the, ty than the Houndstone. Knock-off, knock-off, and glide could do it. Did they go Terra Flying Tyranitar, and they're gonna set up like Rock Slides. Na Roaring Moon is free to hit knock-off on the Houndstone. Yeah. yeah. Then they're gonna go Rock Slide, probably KOing the... So they went first for the Rillaboom. And Rillaboom survived that, actually. Now I know Roaring Moon is faster than any, and we're faster than anything at the field right now. It's just gonna keep Terra Blasting. Now for the fun part. I could high horsepower. Get high horsepower here, actually. And knock off. Just to remove any. Because it, I, I, the Tyranitar is chunky enough. Yeah. Life orb damage is now removed. Uh, flash cannon isn't gonna do much. Nice. SP death fails. And high horsepower. Yeah. Chaos the heat ran. Uh, Rillaboom and Roaring Moon is doing a lot of work. Roaring Moon gets KO'd. But now we can. Should I take out like NDD for chip? Because I know I'm faster and can just throw water later. So it's Cornerstone Ogre Pond. Now. I could Wood Hammer get KO'd. Wood hammer, but it's sturdy. And follow me. They're definitely faster. So wood hammer. Ooh. That is actually cool. But I think Chief Choice Scarf will do the trick. Okay. 
The reason for target not targeting uh, Tyranitar is that it's always going to Terra flying in that position. And even in Terra, it's we're still faster. Now I'm doing this just because I want to have a defensive Terra against the both of them. But the thing is, if we miss, we lose. Oh, starting to pour down. The rain is starting to pour down. It's getting much noisier. I need the heat wave to hit. Helping hand heat wave plus speeds of throwing must deal significant damage. Oh, dude, no. Barely. And she takes that. Rock slide miss. Yeah. We could just heat wave again. <sighs> again. The only thing preventing us winning here is a heat wave miss. Which I hate calling, but it's a possibility of going to happen. I don't have really have a good track record on Heatwave misses. Okay. Okay, oh the Tyranitar. Nice. Now what I wanted to do here is Heatwave Dazzling Gleam. I hate it if I miss. Nice. <laughs> Win number two. And Monkey Dory has done jack shit. I, mean, I haven't had the opportunity to take this out. And Rillaboom Roaring Moon Core is so strong. Don't blame me. Okay. It's Okie Dokie. And DD. Arboliva, Gastro, Armor Rouge, and Mimikyu. So they got like go for Shadow Sneak shenanigans here. I'm gonna lead Drawing Moon and Chiyu. Just because. I could do it. Yeah, just because I could do it. Then... Trellaboom and Monkey, just to reset. Oh, come on! It's raining! Don't give me the third game curse too much. I need the Monkey to work. Kinda am fond of the Monkey. Yeah, it's definitely... It's definitely weak armor expanding force. <laughs> it's definitely shadow sneak, weak armor, then attack. Uh... Maybe it's trick room, I don't know. It's the most... Reasonable target. Or maybe it, it goes for Endure. Or U-turn? Mimikyu U-turn? I don't think Mimikyu... Does Mimikyu have U-turn? I think it has U-turn. 
Dude, freaking uses white guard. Like, what the hell, bro? Okay. You're gonna go for Trick Room. Pay it off. I'm, I'm in range for a shadow sneak. Okie dokie. We could just go acrobatics here. And Dark Pulse to mimic you. They're gonna go shadow sneak. Ch uh. Chiyo's gonna get killed. No, if you're noticing, I'm making the obvious plays because uh, one of my friends have commented that I'm like overthinking too much. So make the obvious plays. Of course, it doesn't work all the time, like this one. Like this Terra Dark Okie Doge. Which would definitely get hit. Okay, Shadow Snake. Oh, that's huge. Oh. Poison Fang. Okay. And it doesn't get poison. Lucky me. Time to shine, my boy. Gonna use acrobatics again. And, uh. Sludge bomb. The mimic you. Someone's gonna get hit, bro. Oh, dude. You're gonna die. Huh. And that actually benefits us because it heals. Monkey do breaks the disguise. Now who's the target? That's the question. Gonna switch into boom and the sludge bomb KO. I don't think sludge bomb KOs, but let's try. I just want to protect the roaring moon here. I know I'm faster anyway, even if the booster booster buff is cancelled. Okay, it's fine. I mean, Monkey Dory did something. <laughs> Just didn't do much. It actually went for the monkey. I mean, wood the hammer. And psychic. I haven't cared about Mimikyu that much. There's nothing I can do, really. And... The prime targets are there. You see how Roaring Moon does massive amount of damage. Why are you taking so long? 
Ah, they didn't. Oh. Dude, Monkey Dory's damage is so damn good. I mean, honestly, what's the point? Wood Hammer. Nasty Plot. My monkey has done its job. It's fine. You can sleep now. Yeah. Win number three. We didn't have much of the third game first. And it's fine by me. By very much. So, that's gonna be it for today, trainers. You know, I came to this feature, which, by the way, is created by Poké Sports. So, gladly check out his channel. The video will be put on the link below in the description. He's the original. I'm not the creator. I just copied it. I'm proud of it. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, coming into this team, I expected the feature Monkey Dory. And I featured it in the last game with a power with powerful attacks that just nearly KOs, deals massive damages, even without the nasty plot boost. I think it's a little bit frail, to be honest, but I think that's the nerf. That's the balance, balancing thing that they put on legendaries to not be so overpowered. Like Urshifu. Or Zacian on the previous generations. Because the legendaries in these generations are kind of weak compared to the last, if you notice that. Well, anyway. Uh, I haven't used Flutter, crazily enough. The first time that I haven't used Flutter in a game. <laughs> that with a team that has Flutter. Chiyu, of course, the MVP of the game where he heatwaves the heck out of the Sans Sandstorm Cornerstone Ogre Pond team. Uh, and DD, of course, with the helping hand, uh, is a massive boost for Chiyu that game. So, comment for them. But the real star of the show is actually Rillaboom and Roaring Moon. I didn't expect Rillaboom and Roaring Moon to do that much damage, to be just as bulky, to take damage and KO opposing mods one by one. I mean, I know ac acrobatics is such a good. Uh, attack on Roaring Moon. Knock Off is such a good attack on Roaring Moon. Uh, maybe it's because we haven't faced an Intimidate, but even with Intimidate, I think uh, Roaring Moon could deal damage with acrobatics and stuff. Uh, Rillaboom. Rillaboom, Rillaboom is just freaking strong, man. Uh, bringing Grassy Glide may be a mistake <laughs> because Rillaboom with Grassy Glide. See, he now has on his signature, actually, his signature priority move from Sword and Shield that gives it access to KOs much faster because in previous sets, you have to rely on Woodhammer or Drop Beating or stuff to deal damages and sometimes you get KO'd first because Real Move isn't exactly the fastest mod on the field. But yeah, giving Grassy Glide back on Real Move is a great buff it may be a great mistake on bbc's part and then of course high horsepower high horsepower man giving rillaboom high horsepower is a massive boost uh, you see how it ko'd the heatran i i'm really impressed by it really uh, yeah maybe i'll build someday i'll build like a uh, full monkey team not i'm not really full monkey like rillaboom i know infernape is legal now uh what what uh, for Monster Survival, Rillaboom, Inferni, Monkey Dory, and Annihilate. Maybe that. Then, an assortment of Mons that could help them. So, yeah. That's actually gonna be it for today. Uh, we're nearing Regulation E. And I hope you keep on supporting because we're steadily growing. So, yeah. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.